Welcome to the process map to how long to wait to become king. Today we're going to demonstrate how to use the timer intermediate event. Our example is from the movie Disney's The Lion King and how long Simba must wait in order to become king. If you remember from the movie, after Mufasa's death, Simba runs away and waits for a period of time before he actually becomes king. We're going to be exploring how this scenario works. Our start event today is going to be just before Mufasa is killed. And our end event, well, it's going to depend on what choices we make. Let's take a look at our process. We can see our pool, I can't wait to be king, has three swim lanes. We've Scar, the murderous uncle, Simba, the young prince who ultimately becomes king, and Rafiki, the silly monkey that inspires Simba to return back. Taking a look at our process, we can see the first activity is Scar killing Mufasa, followed by Simba living with a meerkat and a warthog. The next shape in our process is a timer intermediate event. We can see that it has that hollow border and the green inside with the clock, and it reads five years. Now I did some extensive research on the internet, and apparently it's a very widely discussed topic as to how long Simba was away for. There were many discussions about how long it takes a cub to grow a mane. While there was no definitive answer, we're going to use five years for our example here. What this tells us is that Simba was living with a meerkat and a warthog, and approximately five years had passed before the next task, which is Rafiki smacking Simba with a stick, takes place. We know that in the movie, after Simba smacked in the head with the stick, that he ultimately returns back to Pride Rock to challenge his Uncle Scar. But let's take a look at another scenario as well. We can see that determine if Pride Rock is worth saving is a task that leads to an exclusive gateway, which is marked by that purple diamond with the X in it. We can see that there are two choices now, one of them stating that of course it is, and this is how the movie plays out, where Simba ultimately returns back, confronts his Uncle Star, and then becomes king. However, to explore the usage of using the exclusive gateway, we've added another scenario here, where Simba's going to live by his slogan of Akuna Matata, and ultimately he doesn't return back. We can see that Rafiki would then eat a banana, and we could assume that Scar continues to be king. It is worth noting that the timer intermediate event doesn't always have to be a standalone shape. There are some instances where this intermediate shape is actually attached to the task box, so instead of having a separate shape, it actually is part of your task to indicate that there is a delay. While we didn't look at that example today, I did want to share that there are other ways to show an intermediate event. And we're done! That concludes this session. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much.